I never shoot on Sunday afternoon because it's just too noisy. People are out and planes are flying in and out of Santa Monica Airport. But I was sitting at my desk editing my next garden video and I looked out and I saw this monster tomato vine. Now when some people's tomatoes are already done at the end of July, my vine is going crazy. Now, my friend Dennis in Ontario, which is much hotter than here, he mentioned on Instagram that his tomatoes were done. So I feel very fortunate that I've still got vines that are producing. I already have eliminated at least eight vines of my 21, and I have about four or five replacement tomatoes that are coming on. So my other vines are not that great either, but this vine is crazy. Now, I. Uh, a note of disclaimer that there is a little tomato vine right here in front of this monster one that you see up over here but we're going to check out this vine and tomorrow morning because you should always harvest in the morning when there's more sugar in the fruit we're going to go on a treasure hunt and see what we can harvest off of this vine this is the aunt ruby's german green tomato one of the few tomatoes i did not seed which should tell me something, I guess. <laughs> Either the starting medium, the way they started their plants, or the fact that I planted it in a spot that tomatoes have not been in for years. You never know why a tomato vine really takes off. Now, I broke my golden rule of not pruning this vine and some others because I was gone for seven weeks this summer and I just didn't have time. So we're going to check out this vine and see what we can find. This is a separate vine, I think. This, this piece is the separate vine, but this piece and that piece, as you can see, are coming from down here. That's just one really big branch that bent over this top rung of this little trellis. That is ready. Let's just check out the scope of this plant. It grows over this one little stick and over the uh, garden shed. So what we need to do is get a better view around here these branches are coming off and going across over my shed and climb in here. Ow, let go of my hair. Thank you. Okay. This is rather confusing to look at because this is the end of this. But the tomato is growing out of the orange tree. So somewhere, some vine, I guess, comes in from the other side down there. Oranges and tomatoes are mixed together. I don't know where this comes from. Most of the leaves look awesome. That's what just blows my mind. Yeah, there's a ripe tomato up there. When they just barely get a tinge of, of yellowish green, then they're ripe. The vine is growing into the orange tree and all of that over there is part of this tomato. And here's the source of all of that, just one nice healthy stem. I, I, I just, I can't crawl in there. It's just not possible, especially with my knee. Okay. Oops. Oh, okay. Here's another vine that's going to town on the other side. This is an indigo rose, but there's something going on with at least one of the branches. Here are my replacement tomatoes that I mentioned. Okay, approaching from the sidewalk. get view 
that's all one plant. This is probably not wise, but I wanted to get a little bit higher to show you the scope of it. Everything you can see is this plant. This section here belongs to the Aunt Rubies. And let's see, oh dear. See, this is what happens when you run out of clips and you run out of support and stakes and everything and you don't prune. This is kind of bent down here, but this is part of the Aunt Rubies. And this with the, I believe this belongs to the, um, wait, what does this belong to? This belongs to, yes, this belongs to the Lemon Boy, which is right in here, not the Aunt Rubies. Oh, but I see so many things twisted and, yeah. There's just no way at this point. I'm just gonna have to get what I can get. I cannot in any way, shape or form get this plant under control. Mm. Ouch. Crack. And here we are, back where we started. I read about Joanne and Alejandro Trigo's Two Dog Organic Nursery in the Los Angeles Times in March and thought their one day public sale might be a great place to pick up an Aunt Ruby's German Green Tomato Plant. And I was right. Their house doubles as their nursery. Fully licensed, Two Dog is one of the handful of mom and pop nurseries left in the city and one dedicated to the production of certified organic and non-GMO produce for planting. If you live in LA and you're not seeding your own, Two Dog Organic Nursery is a great place to pick up plants. Clearly, I want to know what they know about getting seedlings off to a great start. As for the treasure hunt, I had to include red tomatoes too. And there was one unwanted find. For the end of July, this is not a bad harvest, and the blueberry cherry tomatoes are oh so tasty. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for watching my channel. Please go to my homepage and check out my European Gardens playlist as well as my Southeast playlist, which is coming up. And of course, all of my seasons of late bloomer. You'll find a lot of content on there that uh, you like, I hope. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.